Hello guys, how's it going? I'm the No Name Gamer, and I am going to be joining a call with the Raptor Roller, and we're going to be talking about Camp Cretaceous. Um, so if you guys didn't know, or if you didn't see what's on his channel, he is having a, um, like, I might as well say a program type thing, uh, called Raise the Raptor, where he's going to get, um, trying to get, uh, up to 100 subscribers, so... At the beginning of every single one of my videos, I'm going to be shouting him out. This was extremely funny. Like, this was, like, one of the funniest things I've be ever been in. So, enjoy the video. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Raptor Ruler, and today I'm here with the No Name Gamer. Say hi. Hey, what's up, everyone? Today, we will be talking about Camp Cretaceous, and starting off, we'll be talking about what dinosaurs we want to see, and which ones we think we will see. Yes, yes, and guys, comment down below what dinosaur you think is going to be, like, in Camp Cretaceous. Yes. Okay, Raptor, what do you think is going to be, like... What rare dinosaur, I might as well say, what do you think is going to be in Camp Cretaceous? Like, rare. I'm thinking Plesiosaurus, because on the Camp Cretaceous, like, main picture that we got at the beginning of Season 1, where it has the doors to Camp Cretaceous, you can see a faint, well, looks to be a Plesiosaurus, in, like, drawn on the walls. Oh, can you now? I actually didn't notice that. Yeah, I'll have to send you the photo. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to look at that, actually. I've actually had that as my wallpaper for the past who knows how long, and I've never even noticed it. That's... And, like... Yeah! Like, your theory with that makes, like, a lot of sense, too, but seeing sense. If you hear what, um... Oh, what's his name? Dave. He actually says, yeah. um, uh, aquatic area one when he's talking about the Mosasaurus. That means there could be more than one. Usually if you put a one, that means there's a two. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and the dinosaur I want to see is the camouflage incarnators from the Lost World Jurassic Park book. Wait, that... the, the chameleon? The chameleon? Uh, uh Carno? camouflaging Carno, yeah. Ain't that one green? If I remember, that's that one's green. Uh, it was something because it could camouflage in the book. Yeah, I've never read. I I've read the the first novel, but I've never read the second one. Oh, you have to read it. Yeah, I I actually need to. I I'm actually yeah, I need to do that. <laughs> oh. So, one thing that uh, one of my subscribers actually um, commented, they said um, there might be a chance of the Spinosaurus coming back. I don't, oh. I don't know how true that's gonna be though. Like they said, honestly, I don't want a Spinosaurus coming back. Yeah, that's what they ended up saying. That's what they said. They're like, yeah, that would. I don't know if that would, like, ruin it, or if, like, what, but, yeah. I think it would kind of just not mess it up, but you can tell, like, if you're bringing stuff from JP3, it's kind of bringing downfall, because everyone knows JP3 wasn't the best. Yeah, yeah. But, like, like with the Spinosaurus and all, like... It's, like, a really cool dinosaur, no offense, but, like, they it have, is. they have, like, I don't, yeah, it's, it, it would just kind of mess up Camp Cretaceous if they at, bring it back, like, they'd have to add, like, a whole new storyline, how they went back to the place, like, yeah. they say, um, I think it's a Clayton Floridi video, I, I don't know yeah. if I said that right, I don't think I think it, I think it's Fiorte? That I don't know. That makes us, yeah, that makes more sense. Um, <laughs> um, but he said that, if I remember right, the T Rex is in uh, Paddock 11. And paddock. The, Wasn't it Paddock 9? It was no. Paddock 9. It was Paddock 9. Oh, okay. Claire said that. Yeah. And um, 
the Indominus was in, I think it was 11 or 10. One it was 11, I think. Yeah, and he was going on about what was in Paddock 10. And that could have been the Spinosaurus. So And they have they have the fossils of the Spinosaurus in the park. Uh like yeah. at the first movie where like the Indominus like breaks out or no, it was the T Rex that broke out and it like was getting ready to fight and it smashed the giant skeleton. Yeah, and Claire epically dove out of the way. <laughs> How can she run in high heels? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, most people watching that, they're like, what in the heck? How did she just do that? <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. But yeah. And then she all, they had to add the her screaming run at one point. They, they had to have her say something epic. And like, you know, I don't get She's under, like, literally under the T-Rex. Could you imagine yeah. if that T-Rex would have turned around? Oh. <laughs> uh. She would have had to yell, run to herself or something, you know? Yeah. Be like, hey, myself, run. Exactly. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, um, like, that, like you said, the plesiosaurus, I don't know, like, Dave did say, like, aquatic area one, which could mean there's more, but, like... And they have they have toys for the plesiosaurus. Well, that's the point that's, like, making me not, like, believe it as much, because they have the toys, but you've seen how, like, Camp Cretaceous, they're adding, like, a ton of different toys. They have the Cryolophosaurus... Um, they, yeah. they came out a while back. Um, it was something for Camp Cretaceous and it did not end up in the show. Um, that's why like most of the time Mattel will like put out like different toys that like have nothing to do with the shows or like dinosaurs that were not in like the TV franchise at all. So yeah. Yeah, I think you have a really good point with that. And I don't like, like, I want to buy the toy and then see it in action in the, like, TV show or movie or whatever. Like, I don't want to buy a toy that I can't watch. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's like one of those little kids' dreams when they end up getting yeah. a toy like that. And they're like, Mommy, Daddy, look, I have the toy from the movie right there. Yeah, it's, it's... like, kind of a kid white kid like wonder yeah. of having like oh i have that one in real life how yeah. funny yeah cuz everyone knows jurassic park people that like collect kid like wonder forever <laughs> i i think it's really funny we're like how we're talking about like the mattel toys like at the moment like literally i think the like the jurassic park is, like, the only, like, toy series, like, that has made, like, really, really good action figures. Yeah, the, like, the, um, I unboxed it on one of my videos. It was the pounce, it was either, like, the pouncing raptor, like, where you would push down on its back and it would go flying. Yeah, yeah, i seen that like, one. they've got, like, a bunch of really good action Posable features and all of that that I just love about Mattel's um, way of introducing the toy line. Yeah, like no, no offense, but like Hasbro, like yeah. <laughs> you don't have to say Hasbro. No offense, we all know it's definitely going to be offensive. Yeah, <laughs> like uh. like. Ever since I seen that gaming beaver video where he go he calls them crafters, that's all I call them now. Like it's the, true. The crap, the raptors with no toe, uh, no toe claws. It, it's so true. And like, I I actually remember having the mini toys. Like if you buy the Mattel mini toys, they literally have as much detail as you can possibly yeah. put into them. Hasbro. You get more than just two paint colors yeah hasbro just dipped them in a paint can and said okay this one's good 
<laughs> they might as well sell you the paint can by itself. Yeah, yeah. That's C basically all it is. Color your own dino. One color is oh. free. <laughs> Did we just create a good a marketing thing? Color your own dino. <gasps> oh. I see brand names. <laughs> <laughs> I see dollar signs. <laughs> now that all we're going to be talking about is paint your own dino for the next who knows how long. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, Mattel, if you're watching this, please buy my idea. And if you, like, make your own thing about it, I'll sue you. I'll sue you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, that would be hilarious if, like, two days from now, it's like, paint your own dino. You, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but, yeah. You get, like, Mattel's going to be getting a bunch of calls from me. I'm going to be like, what? <laughs> the John Tron. What? What the? Yeah. <laughs> uh... But yeah, like so far though, Mattel has been doing a really, really, really good job with the Camp Cretaceous toys. Yeah. Like. The... I mean, I have to give them like outstanding awards because the detail that goes into making those is like amazing compared to Hasbro. Yeah, like definitely. They, you can tell they take like a lot more time and effort into the, like things like that. Like, like. Everybody saw the Monolophosaurus in the trailer. Like, they didn't yeah. exactly show the color. But, like, the one that I ended up getting, the uh, Mattel one, it looks epic. Like, it's really good. The one thing that Mattel's kind of making me angry about is, like, they keep making the same dino, like, design. But they just give it different colors, which kind of seems a little, um... How do, I don't know how to put it, but, like, kind of, like, they're not trying like hard they're, enough. They're like, like, copy and pasting it. Yeah, like, I feel like they should make a different model, but of the same dinosaur to have a different color. Yeah, it's like, I remember, I think it was the Concavenator. I ended up getting it. I actually have two. And it's the same green color. And I think, if I remember right, there was a tan and purple one. And... I have the tan and purple one. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, my. I I literally looked for it everywhere. I could not find it. I got that uh, the green concavenator. I was like, dang it, it's so close. <laughs> I just need to look for it. Uh, the tan and purple one, though, it it's a gross color to have on a dino. Yeah. Because Mattel is kind of about how it being realistic. But if we're being realistic, why would dinosaurs have... Uh, tan and purple. It's not like they're trying to blend in yeah. with that color. Like they, like the Sarcosuchus that I unboxed the other day, for instance. The yeah. The only differences I can see from like looking at them like right now, the eyes are just like a little bit like, I think they're more closer to the like nose, but like mm, yeah, like only a couple of them have like really, really, really bright colors, like. I think it's the Metricanthosaurus, the red one. That and the Majungasaurus. Do you um happen to have the Brachiosaurus? I do not. I have been uh... I've been contacting Clang or not Clang. Um, huh. I I can't remember uh, his name. Cl Clayton, I, or I think so. Yeah, shout out to him. I think he's on Discord. His name's Hamburger Man at at the moment on discord he might uh, change it yeah but um but yeah uh he um he's been reaching out to me about the brachiosaurus i was just recently asking him about it he uh sent the link the thing is i think it's 90 something dollars at the moment oh i don't know how much mine was but i think i got it when it was cheaper because you know people raise the prices for that all the time when it's not Mattel sold. Yeah, like, if I remember right, it was like 60 bucks. I think it was. Uh, yeah, or maybe it was a little more like 65, 70. Yeah, that, that's probably the right range. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, like, 
me and my brother are like, uh, well, I wouldn't exactly say arguing, but I might as well might as well say arguing about which one's like more expensive, Mattel dinosaurs or Legos. And oh, oh my which God. one did you pick? I definitely said like Legos are way too much. Oh yeah, Legos are expensive. Yeah. There's if you watch The Simpsons, there's this one thing where uh. Lisa was buying a um, VIP pass, and she's like, wow, this is like six Lego sets. <laughs> and it was supposed to be like $1,000 was the total price. <laughs> this is like buying six Lego sets. That's actually really, really good. That's really funny. It's the truth. Yeah, it is. That's why, That's a, like literally why it's so funny. Crap, I just... I saw... I, just I saw hit this my like mic. I just hit my mic on an accident. I just punched it. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. I saw this uh, Lego set. It was only like thirty, maybe fifty pieces, and it was like something like twenty dollars. Yeah, like if I remember right, there was a Ninjago set. Um, I got it for Christmas one year. It was uh Samurai X Cave or whatever it's called. Um, oh. If I remember right, I got it from my grandparents, and it was like, I think it was $160 at the point. Was it the red one that has, like, the swords for claws? Yeah, that's what it was. And oh, actually, I, my brother bought one. Yeah, like, I put it, it took me, like, two hours to put it together. Worst part about it, I put the pieces in the wrong spot. There's, there's so many pieces. Nowadays, oh. if you actually go to buy it, if you look it up, it's almost $500. It, it's oh, crazy. wow. Yeah. We should probably get back to dinosaurs. Yes, yes, we should probably get back to dinosaurs. Yeah. Now we're, now we're talking about Lego Ninjago, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my wow. goodness. Let's go back to the original thing we were talking about. What dinosaurs do you want to see in Camp Cretaceous? Yeah. Um like what other what other dinosaurs like like according to the trailer, the teaser trailer, like okay, what do you think Spine um um Scorpius Rex is going to look like? Like I've seen oh. like a bunch of concepts where that's like it's literally just an Indoraptor with a scorpion tail and yeah. You know, I think I think the scorpion tail is pretty right cuz it's the Scorpius but then, you know, when you look at the blue, like, container or whatever it's in, it almost looks like a Mos or, um, Mosasaurus head. Yeah. So, kind of like a wide jaw, almost like a Baryonyx head, but, like, scorpion tail Indoraptor is what I think. Yeah, like, I think, I, I remember there was a concept out where they had a... I think it was a generic, like, 3D model of a Velociraptor with spikes. They painted it pink and with yellow dots and called it Scorpius Rex. I, that sounds like it's weird. Yeah, it's it's on one of my videos. Um, I, I show it on one of my videos. It's so weird. Oh, my goodness. Like, I, actually, I was just scrolling through pictures of what it might look like. That pops up, and I just start dying laughing. So, yeah, it was... Oh, my goodness, it was so weird. Oh. But, like, me personally, what I think the Scorpius Rex is going to look like... I think that the Scorpius Rex is going to be, like... Well, if you, like, look on Dr. Wu's computer, you can see he has very, very specific dinosaurs on his chart thing he has on there he has a spinosaurus out of all things he has a velociraptor he has a t-rex and he has a carnotaurus now if you look at the scorpius rex the uh toy leak uh, that they had from mattel you can see it's really box faced like it's yeah. it looks like a carnotaurus but from you can what you can see there's no like horns like, like oh. out of its head, like a Carnotaurus. It's, 
I think it's going to be like a lot like the Interaptor. It's just going to be a mo bit more stubby, I think. And it's going to be more um, theropod than quadra. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and his. Yes, please do. Please do. <laughs> or just give me as many as he can. Also, yeah. guys, also, guys, thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. It really helps out. Also, uh, Raptor Roller here, he's trying to get uh, to 100 subscribers. So please go check out his channel as well. He makes a lot of really good videos. So, um, see you next time on Raptor Roller. Bye bye. Oh, bye bye. <laughs>